structure is such that it is customer sensitive. And because it is customer sensitive, and then the government is actually um, very interested in ensuring that the customer is protected, I think that that will be an issue that will not in any way hmm. stop or jeopardize the business of power. Renewable energy is the way to go. There's no two way about it. Um, it's a game changer. And now that it's obvious that the grid is having challenges, uh, we cannot continue to remain in darkness, but rather to embrace the renewable energy option, wind, solar, waste, uh, hydro, and a lot of other coal. Nigeria's coal is one of the best coal in the mm. world. It's clean. It's called cooking coal. The cooking coal is found in Nigeria, and it's only in Nigeria that you have that cooking coal. Therefore, the fact that it is the cleanest quality of, go uh, of coal, it means that you can generate uh, power from coal. And well, then is that being explored? Yeah, some of the companies like Dangote, like those cement manufacturing plants, a lot of them are on coal. And then it's just that the information is not quite available or mm. it's not being marketed for obvious reasons. But the coal to power uh, business is a boom and it's taking place right now. That's why those cement companies are not complaining and they are not investing in biofuel. All right, of course, we'll continue to raise the ante on awareness for alternative energy sources. Thank you so much, Mr. Idris. Uh, Mohammed is the former managing director, Kaduna Electricity Distribution Company. Thank you very much for your time. Thank and we can you, find. Ruth. It's a pleasure. Thank you. All right.